everyone and welcome to the hashtag PBC alphabet challenge. This is hosted by the lovely Hillary of Pink Bubble Cards. She's hosting an alphabet challenge where each Wednesday um, she pulls out a prompt. Um, this is determined by the letter of the alphabet. So she has little alphabet letters, letters of the alphabet and each letter corresponds to the prompt. The prompt can either be a crafting item or a thing to do or yeah, or a technique or something like that. Um, and last Wednesday, um, Hillary pulled out the letter I and I was for ink. Now I do have inks. I think, I think many people may have thought straight away of ink pads and stuff, <clears throat> but um, I'm not the best at inking like blending and stuff like that i find it really does hurt my wrist and things um so i think for this project i'm gonna be using my favorite type of ink and that is um alcohol markers so obviously they're full of ink <laughs> uh, and alcohol and um i just love the the blending capabilities of alcohol markers and i am still fairly new but i feel like i have been practicing a lot and um, I think that's all it takes is just lots of practice um, practice 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 so in uh, we've got um, mermaid month approaching uh, for PHA group well it's one of my favorite months uh, May is mermaid month so I thought I would stamp out some mermaids from my new um, greeting farm stamp so they're kind of the same uh, the same two but I've just stamped them out three times each uh, and I thought it would be nice just to colour these in with different colours and get them sort of prepared and like I said I just love using inks, my alcohol markers, so these ones are, oh, uh, who? <laughs> and why can I say it in my head but I can't say it out loud, uh, a who who markers, <laughs> so that's the brand. Uh, I have those in pastels and they do come with, um, this card so you can like test the um the colors but what i also like to do is just have a scrap piece of paper of the same card that i stamped on so then um it's a different card so like as you can see it's even a different shade so it'll just react a little bit different um but that's really good for, for like working out which colors you want and then the other ones that i have um are these type and um, the twin markers Um, you can get them from b and uh, I also got them from the range I got quite a few sets uh, I got a large one from the range and then a small one from b and um, I don't think I've got every single color um, <laughs> I don't I don't know if, the, if it's considered to have every single color but um, I have quite a few now um, and then I also have um, these ones which are the skin tones and uh, these were from Stampin' Up so they come in um, 10 different shades and they all like blend really nice together um, so that's really good so they are my favorite things to use when coloring so let's just um, get coloring okay so I've selected my colors I just like to point out that I have actually made my own um, cards just using a, a five by seven um card and i just <laughs> drew a load of squares and these are all the color shades that i have including the uh stamping up ones and um, to go along with the pastels from the other brand <laughs> that i can't say also I'd like to point out that i stamped all these images using memento tuxedo black i find that memento is the best um for using um, alcohol markers um, and I don't know why that is <laughs> some science behind it but also because I do switch my cardstock this is quite thin cheap cardstock that I get from Amazon um, it does bleed through um, but it doesn't I've not I've never had an accident where it bleeds through unless I am obviously going over the lines myself so um, that's why I like this one. I know that some others do smudge as well. And also, um, I do print out as well the digitals. So um, the ink from the printer as well is also um, doesn't doesn't leak either with the... Um, oh, maybe I should do that one as well. <laughs> um, with these, these alcohol markers. So that's really good. And this is the same 
paper as well so um i've picked out a few colors i've decided to go for a sort of aerial vibe here so i'm using the pastel ones for her little um seaweed bra there um so i went for a r189 and an rv195 so these these ones here come with a um fine nib a bullet nib and they also come with a chisel you can buy them in the brush but i can't afford those <laughs> for some reason they are so much more expensive i don't know why um but yeah i don't know it's bizarre to me uh, i don't particularly like using chisel i'm not that good with it but you can sort of see the colors there and how they will react on the paper so i'm going to go in with the lightest shade which is this one i always do uh, my color in light to and then add the shadow and then go over with light and then add the shadow again <laughs> i know i'm a bit uh i don't know if that's correct but it's just my method um i find it works for me i think that's another thing it's just play around there are so many videos on people coloring but ultimately what they're saying is you know just find your own way and i think that's what i did when i stopped thinking about um oh am i doing this correct is that the right way to do it i just found i had more fun and i enjoyed the actual process a lot more so there we go that's the seaweed bra done um then i'm gonna go in and do her tail um i've gone for three colors here um a four six, 46 which is my lightest my mid is 55 and then my dark is 50 so when i'm doing a small area i tend to just use two colors um for blending but when it's a bit larger i like to go in and use three but then when it comes to other areas like the hair and stuff i maybe use more just because it's a lot more textural <laughs> textorial <laughs> textured um i mean I am in means no artist at all um, but I do enjoy colouring and I will come and sit and colour if I feel like I've got things to do but I just need some thinking time and I can just colour and think about projects, what's going on, what needs to get done like if there's um, a challenge or a giveaway or something like that that has like a time limit, a deadline, that sort of thing. Uh, and I don't know what I'm doing yet. So I just come here, I sit at my desk and I just colour away. <laughs> um, I find that it will relax me more. Um, and yeah, I can think of some things to do. So many of my little ideas are created from doing this if you were ever interested <laughs> in knowing uh, how my brain operates i mean i, I don't even know that really <laughs> but i think it comes mostly from sat here coloring in and just playing along with it i think trying to learn like where your shadows are where the light will bounce obviously but I am by means no expert I'm just sat here playing around and I hope that that helps other people that may be interested in colouring I think colouring is just just to be had some fun you know just some fun and a little bit of detail with the wisps We'll do a little bisp <laughs> and then I just tie it all back together 
this is like the melting bit I love it with the lightest shade and because um I think it has like some sort of lightning in it I don't know I don't think it's bleach obviously obviously it's alcohol in there but um it does lighten up those dark bits so that's why I always go back in with the dark just to really emphasize where that shadow was okay so that's tail done right, I'm gonna go move on to her hair so I have my lightest is 206 my middle 205 and my dark is three but i'm gonna add in some more colors i just want to add a little depth i'm gonna go in with a number two as well and a 244 <laughs> which will so i've got five colors for the hair must put them in some sort of order <laughs> otherwise I will lose where I'm supposed to be there we go darkest to lightest so the light goes in um, I just like to do the hair in wisps or flicks which is a new technique I have been practicing so this area is the areas where I believe the light would be catching and I think because you know she's underwater I mean that could come from anywhere <laughs> so you know that's that's the story and that's what I'm sticking to so it's like that and then I like to go in with my middle range colour and start to add in where the shadows are likely to land and use that to define the um, the lines that are already in you know the dark lines of the stamp so I like to just really put a little bit of emphasis there like so and then I'll just come across the hairline and then down and then we're gonna have the shadow under the face and this one has got some curls so you can really just add a lot of different shadows there just around the hairline like that and then around her lovely little embellished seaweed hair thing <laughs> hair grip <laughs> I think Ariel is basically my go-to when I can't think of what colors to use on a mermaid I do that quite often <laughs> think of things that already exist in the world Right now I'm going to go in my second to last darkest and really use that as my shadow and just go over those dark areas. side I say just have fun 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 and then I'm gonna go in with my second to lightest and just add lots and lots of strokes and curls I 
and just watch it build up. Well, back in with my lightest. I'll leave a glimmer of a little bit of white just to add the fact that it is. Sometimes I go a bit overboard and then I have to go back in with a white gel. <laughs> you say, I'm still learning. And then this is my darkest colour, so I'm really going to go in with this. And this will create a lot of nice shadow. I feel like my hair, um, what's it called? <laughs> Training to be a hairdresser, I don't know what that's called anymore, is uh, paying off. Not in the way I thought it would. <laughs> Thank you, pandemic. But at least my uh, stamps will get some nice pretty hair. Spin it round so that I can really do a lot of flicks from this centre point where the roots will come from. Yeah, so everyone has dark root. <laughs> Except for those that over bleach. <laughs> Little hairdresser joke there. And now for skin tone. So I've actually got three colours for skin. Um, I'm actually going to go in with, so I'm actually mixing brands there. So I'm actually going to go in because I know she has quite quite the pale skin tone uh, aerial. So, you know, being underwater and all. I can imagine that real aerial would have like, you know, really grey skin. You know, like a fish, an actual fish. <laughs> I never know what to do with the eyes. I tend to just go around them. And that's that. So this is my number 134. Which is a really like pale, kind of got a yellow undertone. It's kind of like my skin tone. <laughs> and yeah, use that as my B. And then I'm going to use a uh, number 10 on the Stampin' Up because this one has um, a pink undertone and I'm just going to use that to give her a little bit of blush in her cheeks <laughs> because she would look silly without it. And then I'm going to go in with a shadow with a number 9 which also has like a, a warm yellow undertone. I always do a little thing for the nose because I feel like these stamps don't have a nose. And then I'm just going to go around and lay where I think shadow would lie. And this is all guesswork. <laughs> Complete and utter guesswork. Like, I have no idea. But that is the joy of just playing around. Like so and then we just go over and then what I like to do this time is use the brush just because it is a large surface area and I just feel like it just melts so much better and that's why I like using the brush and then again Back in, just where the ultra darker areas would be. Just like under that piece of hair there. And apply the blush again. 
Da -da. So that's all that's left to do is the seaweed. So I'm going to bring back the same green that I used for this part. But I'm actually going to just use the 46 and 50, which is the lightest and the darkest. Just to just tie it together. She's probably got different colour seaweed. You know, she's probably not all just what I would do, just rip from the same thing. Oh, that sounds terrible. Because it's living, isn't it, under the sea? That's terrible. It's like <laughs> Oh, I'm having terrible thoughts in my head now. Yeah, don't go ripping seaweed up. It's a living thing. Okay. Just add that as like that, and then back over. Right, and then I think I'm going to bring in another colour just to add a little interest in here. And I think I'm going to go with like maybe a yellowy orangey kind of colour. I do like using these two, the 44 and 45. They're kind of quite bright. It's like a warmer yellow. Something like neon. She is looking so cute. Just add a bit there and blend it. <laughs> and then go back in. Like that. Oh, doesn't she look precious? <laughs> so there is uh, my aerial. I'm going to get on and do the rest of these um, and enjoy my time. And then I will um, pop up some pictures towards the end. So if you want to um, follow along with this challenge, it's um, following the hashtag, hashtag PBC alphabet. And um, I've also linked Hillary in the description box as well. Um, Hillary is the host, so if you would like to take part, um, you will need to go over to her channel and subscribe. Um, and yeah, she comes, she does so many different things in the alphabet with different ideas. And I'm actually really, really enjoying every single one of them. So thanks to Hillary for hosting. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all again soon and I apologise, this has been quite a long video, I hope I didn't ramble too much, <laughs> please skip on. <laughs> Alright guys, take care, see you soon, bye!